Critical realism is first and foremost uh, a philosophy concerned with ontology, which is uh, the philosophical study of being. And in its first move, it uh, revindicated uh, ontology. So it was concerned to argue that you couldn't uh, reduce statements about the world, uh, that is ontology, to uh, statements about our knowledge of the world, that is epistemology. And the attempt to do so uh, it was called the epistemic fallacy. At the same time, it argued that against the implicit ontology of mainstream philosophy, uh, which uh, pictured the world as unstructured, undifferentiated, and unchanging. They put forward a view of reality as structured, differentiated, and changing. Turning to uh, the social sciences, it argued that social structure was a necessary condition and always pre-existed any round of agency, but agency, human agency, in turn was necessary for the reproduction and transformation of social structure. <clears throat> the concept of agency itself is very important to critical realists and um, they see mind as an emergent power of matter and reasons as causally efficacious in producing actions. The uh, conception of society was further developed through the notion of full plane of social being, which is the idea that all social events occur simultaneously on four planes. These are the planes of material transactions with nature, social interactions between people, social structure, and the stratification of the embodied personality. Now, if you think about these four planes today, you can see that we're obviously in crisis at all four planes. And the crisis at these four planes provides one of the themes for this year's EACA conference, which I'll tell you about at the end. So uh, we discussed critical realism as a philosophy of science and a philosophy of social science. But ontology uh, was developed through a notion of um, seven through altogether seven levels uh, of ontology. And I just want to fasten on two in particular. At the second level, in the phase of critical realism, which we call dialectical critical realism, uh, uh, notions of uh, absence, uh, negativity, and change uh, came to the fore. And uh, I, in critical realists, argued that these are real. Uh, um, this was against uh, a doctrine which could be called ontological monovalence, which has underpinned uh, the whole trajectory of Western philosophy since the time of Parmenides. Uh, so that uh, was the second level of the development of ontology. Now skipping to the last level, uh, and in the phase of development of critical realism, uh, known as a meta-reality, uh, critical realism argues that the world of what's called demi-reality, that is the world of illusion and oppression, is actually underpinned by an unrecognized realm of trust and solidarity. Uh, and it argues these qualities and action at this uh, meta-real level uh, sustains the whole of uh, uh, social reality. Uh, so the seventh level of development of ontology uh, in the philosophy of meta-reality, uh, it's argued that the world of what I've called demi-reality, a world of illusion and oppression, which currently dominates us, is actually tacitly underpinned by uh, a world of uh, trust and solidarity. And uh, exploring it in the philosophy of meta-reality um, allows us to identify uh, uh, here and now uh, a world which can form the basis for a society of universal human flourishing. Uh, um, 
if there's one theme that unites the uh, different um, uh, theories and developments in the philosophy of uh, critical realism, it is the idea of seriousness. Uh, that is of the unity of uh, theory and practice. And uh, what uh, critical realism attempts to do is to give us a philosophy that we can act on uh, in uh, contradiction from uh, much of um, current Western philosophy. Now, if you'd like to find out more about it, I suggest you come to uh, the next annual conference of Yeka, which is on July the 18th to the 21st in London at the IOE. And you can get information about that by <coughs> emailing ICCR, standing for the International Centre Critical Realism, at IOE.ac. Dot UK. The theme of the conference is from the anatomy of the global crisis, the global crisis that besets us and all four planes of social being, to the ontology of human flourishing, that is, to the possibility of an existence which is far, far better than the one that we currently have.